Employers for Disability NI is a network of employers who support people with disabilities working in Northern Ireland and I'm here in Geraldine O'Hagan's house. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So Geraldine, you work for the Belfast Health and Social Care Trust. I do indeed, yes. yes. And what's your job role um, with the Trust? I'm a social worker in children's disability team. Okay. So I would uh, offer support to families in the community who have a child with a disability. Okay, and that's all over all over Belfast? It is indeed, yes. Right, okay. So what disability um, do you have yourself and how does it affect you? I have dyslexia and... Um, Dyslexia affects me mainly in my administration tasks. Um, I would um, have great difficulty putting uh, things down on paper. Um, I generally um, would dictaphone uh, information uh, and then get it typed up through the admin system within the uh, service. Um, and this can be very difficult because it, obviously my job is going out and doing assessments of families. So there's a lot of paperwork involved mm -hmm. um, and you've got deadlines, uh, court report writing, you know, um, case conference report writing. So you've quite a quite a, a lengthy amount of paperwork. So what help and support have you been given then to obviously try and help you with this process and, and speed it up and try and to get all the information from the deck to phone onto a computer or whatever? Well, needed? thankfully, I have been very lucky in that I have um, I was referred to um, act for access to work. Um, it's now the Department for Communities, um, and they did an assessment. Um, it was quite a bit of a process to get there, right enough. But um, I get uh, uh, get a support worker to do my admin tasks. So at the minute, I'm getting six hours per week um, admin assistance and uh, another four really to, to try and cover the back work. I love my job, I have to say. Yeah. And uh, I started off as a care assistant before I went to do the social work. Um, and I always dreamed that I wanted to be a social worker. And I always had um, an eye for working with children with disabilities. So I feel I've, I've come full circle. Oh, well, you have and you've done well because yeah. you were nominated recently for two awards, weren't you? I was indeed, yes. Yeah. And they were nominations from the families. Um, one was a foster family uh, and another was um, a family that I worked with many years ago. Uh, and that was Social Work Award for 2015. I was awarded, uh, I was one of three finalists um, for the individual award. And then more recently, um, one of my family's put me through for a Well Child Award. What's uh, what's the best part about your job? Work dealing with the children, direct contact with them. Um, I I think you know I really genuinely love what I do, and I, be, I believe I have a voice for children who maybe cannot communicate, um, who don't have any verbal skills, uh, and a lot of the children are very complex. So I would access other supports outside of the trust as well to ensure that they get their needs met as well. Would that be your main strength or what are your main strengths that you bring to your job? I suppose the main strength I bring is, is uh, I suppose I have a lot of empathy because I've struggled myself uh, and I know what it's like to live with a disability. Um, and I would say that I um, advocate on their behalf and I really excel when I'm doing that because I really want them to get what they deserve. Um, and. It's the reactions that I get from the children. They don't necessarily even speak, but you know I get. You see it in their face. Yeah, absolutely, and um, you know there's one wee boy in particular, and he's in a foster placement, and he just lights up when I go in to see him, and you know you can, and he, he just, you can tell that he, he gets a lot out of it, you know. Charlie, what um has been the biggest obstacle or buyer that you faced in getting a job in the first place? Yeah, well there've been a few. Um, but the one that I would most relate to, I suppose, is whenever I was doing my final, the actual exam in social work, um, I had gone into the exam hall and I'd never been in an exam hall because I'd come up through third level education through doing other courses. Um, and I um, set the exam and failed it. Um, they did offer me to do um, extra time at the end, but um, by that stage I was exhausted and I couldn't have written anything else. Um, when I failed the exam then they offered me to do it verbally and that was how I, I, I when I did it verbally I passed which was top marks uh, yeah. well absolutely yeah. <laughs> wouldn't go as far as that but yeah um, no, I, did, I did very well and I got it um, done so so it's good to be able to have those adjustments and um, to kind of facilitate um, people with dyslexia and stuff like that that you you were offered the chance to do to do a verbal exam as yeah to yeah and I think you know like that's why even in the workplace, you know, if you have a manager that doesn't necessarily understand the need for the reasonable adjustments or the, the whole uh, ins and outs of people who have dyslexia, 
because it's, it's a silent sort of disability as well, you know. Um, so I think it is important that, you know, people are aware and that the reasonable adjustments are in place to ensure that you do your best, your job to the best of your ability. Because being dyslexic and working in the, in the environment I work in, you know, you can, you can use it as a, a barrier, but I actually use it as a, something that I can actually turn around and be positive about. Uh, and I think that helps as well when I'm working with families because they know that I have a barrier as well, and I would yeah. I would be open enough about it. And I believe you've um, you've written you've written a poem about dyslexia. I have indeed. Can yes. we hear it? Certainly, yeah. yeah. Um, it's called dyslexia. <laughs> uh, all the D's, often referred to as dunce, difficult, and disabled. Dunce means stupid or ignorant, perceived as someone who can't read, write, or spell. None of the above describe me. I'm far from stupid. I can confidently verbalise my needs and that of others. I communicate and support families and individuals on a daily basis. A diagnosis of dyslexia with reasonable adjustments removes the dis enabling one's ability. I think that sums it up perfectly, Geraldine. It does indeed. Okay, it was lovely talking to you. Thank you very much and Thank good you. luck with the social work in the future.